And this building that we see now <coughs> was called the Moby Dick Inn. Later on, it was sold to a Mr. Clem Reynolds, who built the little cottages around the inn. He also had a cocktail lounge and dining room down below the bank. I think it was about the second year that we moved from number two bank edge and went to what is now Moby Dick, the restaurant. Well, that is a large building where at that time you could take uh, suites of rooms. And I also remember, I'm not going to be able to do this chronologically necessarily, but I do know at one year that we were there, my father made gin in the bathtub. And it was a great discovery because we only had two baths and there was my sister and a lot of other people. One, however, had to be given up for that gin. It was the only place I worked in the summers. I worked for Myra, and my job was to arrange all the flowers in the Moby Dick and in the inn. And it was an everyday job. And where did we get the flowers? Well, we went out to houses that were empty because the owners weren't there. <laughs> and I would nip out early in the morning and cut a lot of flowers and take them back for the arrangements. And we ordered a few from Vorneveld, the florist in, in Nantucket. I just, I just remember it was such a great spot. You know, Clem Reynolds had that place. And I think when I first got married, or just it was in 1949 or so, we used to go there, myself and my wife. Used to go down below and uh, they had, the restaurant was like down below, and they had two things, either filet mignon or swordfish. Then when you finished that, you went upstairs and had a drink. And it was, I was standing, I sat in, in bamboo chairs, nice cocktail tables, and he had headline, headline people from Broadway shows would come and, and put on performances, and it was outstanding. We, and it was a, just quite a spot. Hanging over the bluff where that swimming pool thing is, there was a marvelous piano bar. Tiny was his name. He played the piano. He was a great, huge man. We came, Don and I came home one night from a yacht club dance, and as we got to Bean Hill, we saw this great red sky, and it was the Moby Dick piano bar burning down. So we lost that, but... The, the night that the Moby Dick burned, it was a huge conflagration, and we all ran out naturally to see what was happening. My mother came out in her nightgown running across the bridge to see. Well, and of course, it was really quite a scene, but all the firemen had a wonderful time cleaning out the storage lockers. <laughs> that was the end of the Moby Dick. It was too bad. I might have been in my late teens, I think, yeah. So I never had an opportunity to go there and, and enjoy listening to all the music and, that my brother Walter Bolger did. It was one of their favorite spots. <laughs>